What's up, everybody? I am Lee with Third Eye Music Center. I'm with the one and only Christian Robles from uh, Berkeley. Among other places. And Billy Rock Band. And uh, he's met all kinds of famous people and been all kinds of famous places all over the world. <laughs> world traveler. But not, but not recently. But not recently. I, I, Nobody's I, going anywhere right now. I have not been any place recently. I, I miss the... Uh, for, for this, so we're going to watch this a year from now. Yeah. If we make it. And and we're gonna think about remember that time we got up in the blue rock room and we and we uh, went over tube screamer pedals yeah but no actual tube screamer yeah that's the funny part about yeah that. these are all uh, you know roughly overdrive pedals of various sorts all different companies yeah yeah so, and each one has its own take on the the whole overdrive type sound so we're just gonna uh, go through them check them out. See what we got. And I think what I'll do is, is I'm going to put a picture of each pedal up on there. I'll, I'll edit it into this. Yeah. And uh, we're keeping it super casual because it's our first time we've ever filmed a video in this room. And um, I like your shirt a lot. Oh, thanks. You, you know who would have enjoyed this video? Harambe. Harambe would have, Absolutely. for sure. So what we've got here, we've got five different pedals that are all modern after the modeled after the circuit of the Tube Screamer. Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, obviously some companies take liberties as far as expanding or changing it around different components. But the idea is basically overdrive, what you're going for is the sound of an amplifier that's turned up and, and overdriven versus some of the, the super saturated distortion, which is a little bit more of, uh, you know, kind of the, the 80s and 90s type thing. These are actually supposed to sound more like the old classic tube amps. When you turn them up, they start breaking up at a certain volume. So Growing up, when I got my first, first distortion pedal, it was a DoD, the black distortion. I think it was... Well, yeah. I mean, when we, we I, were... I didn't know the difference between overdrive and distortion. I thought it was kind of the same thing. I yeah. also did. Um, we kind of came up in an era where there really wasn't a lot of different guitar pedals to choose from. I mean, for most guitar players, um, unless you... Uh, you know, had access to some really crazy amps. Most of the time, you're just using stomp boxes, and the main two back then were Boss and DoD. DoD yeah, that's right. And uh, that was it. I mean, there were a few other companies. I mean, I think I had a Rat somewhere in there. Oh yeah, yeah. The Rats were Rat was Rat super was popular. There. Um, at the Sands Amp was making some stuff in the late '80s, early '90s. But but nowadays, we're really in the golden era of boutique pedals. There's so many people making quality pedals these days, and, uh, and each one of them is a little bit different. So sometimes it takes a little time to try them all out and see which one's the best fit for you. And sometimes people buy multiples of them and switch them out, and you know, your ear, it seems like your ear changes from day to day, what room you're in, all kinds of things. All Absolutely. kinds of variables. Absolutely. So we've got five pedals here today. Mm -hmm. We've got the Green Rhino, by, yep. way, by way huge, uh, the Paisley Drive. Okay. Uh, I literally read about some of these today because I, I knew they were great pedals. And I like yeah. the sound, but I didn't know they were all based on two screamers. I'm still learning about this stuff. So as am I. I mean, <laughs> I I'm much more of a uh, you know a player than I am a, a gear hound. So, uh, yeah. but we're we're just trying to go through them and show some differences in some of the variations. Yeah, I think we spent pedals. five minutes trying to get these kind of similar, and, and some of them have too many knobs for sure. Yeah, I've always found that the pedals uh, that I've always liked the most have the fewest knobs. Yeah, I mean, right out of the gate, we're looking at the Green Rhino, and it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. Yeah, let, I mean, let's... Yeah, so you've so got uh, an out, or yeah, in and out, of course. You've got the volume, you've got a drive. And then tone, which tone. is pretty common with most of those. But the then you've got... 100, 100 hertz. Yep. Um, and then you've got the... Yeah, a two EQ, sweepable EQ type. And then you've also got a switch up there, which I'm not quite sure what yeah. that activates. Yeah, that um, goes from classic to modern, I'm guessing. It just says classic. Okay, and, okay. yeah, so, that, that makes sense. But we're going to go over the Green Rhino, then we're going drive, to drive, drive into the dive into the Paisley Drive, yep. uh, the East River Drive, which is Electro Harmonics' version. Yeah, oh, yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and then the Moonshine uh, V2 JHS, which mm -hmm. is a tube screamer circuit. And then, of course, the Bonsai, which is supposedly... It's the all-in-one. All-in-one. So we'll just go through a couple of those. I got it set to the 808 right now. All right, great. So uh, let's dive in. Let's hear some, let's hear some tones with the, with the Green Rhino. All the right, green so Rhino. we got the Green Rhino right here. I'm, uh, I'm using a PRS Mira. Got some noisy electricity in here. Got some noisy electricity. Something's going on. But I'm um, going to be just playing on... A, it's basically a humbucker. I got all bad the cables up here. That's what it is. Pick up. 
sound. Singy. Yeah. Very singy sound and warm. Um, uh, yeah. It didn't sound brittle at all. No. Uh, which is, you know, um, you're always trying to find a, a fine line between a, a, a pedal that sounds warm, but it's not so muddy that it doesn't cut through the mix. Because a lot of times when you're on stage playing with other instruments, you need something that's going to cut through the rest of the band so they can hear you when you go to, when you go to your solo. You use, and you, you've answered this for me a million times, but my memory is stupid. But uh, I know you've got a client, but you've got a, a modded tube screamer? Yeah, my main two overdrives is I have a, 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 a gold Klon Centaur that I bought back in the, the uh, well, probably would have been 97, 98, something like that, um, when I was living in Boston from Bill Finnegan. And uh, so that's my primary overdrive. But I also use a tube screamer that's been uh, modified by Analog Man. Uh, they do quite a few uh, mods, and so do a lot of companies. Keeley does mods on tube screamers. Uh, the Red one. Dirt is a, is a modded uh, tube exactly. screamer. Exactly. So there's a lot of companies that do mods on the tube screamers. So if you buy a tube screamer off the shelf and you kind of like the sound, but you kind of are looking for something a little bit different, that's kind of what happened to me. Which actually, when we get to the Bonsai, one of the options on here, a couple of the options are you've got the 808 and a bunch of different ones, but you've also got a... Keely modded tube screamer on here, okay. and a JHS modded tube screamer. Oh, okay, so great. So might just that might be the three we try on this. But that, like, I'm happy with the Green Rhino. That sounded cool. The Green Rhino sounded great. I've seen that in the pedal boards of lots of different guitar mm -hmm. players. Uh, I know Pretty a couple guys. Pedal too, I think. A couple guys here in town use them. Um, uh, what's the What's the guitar player from the uh, Black Crows? Robinson. Oh, Chris Rich, Rob Chris Robinson. The, the guitar brother. player's brother. I'm not sure. Rich Rob. I'll put it on the video though. Um, I've seen one of this, these on his boards. I've seen these on oh, lots of different people's boards out there. So um, this is my first time playing on it, but um, it's definitely one that's caught on with uh, some of the players out there. So yeah, that's the Green Rhino, way huge. Uh, next pedal in our lineup is going to be the, the Paisley Drive. All right. Not the Paisley Drive Deluxe, just the basic Paisley Drive. This has got a gain, a volume, uh, presence off and on okay. switch, a tone switch, of course, and then EQ shape, which I imagine is going to be a low, middle, and high. Uh, or maybe, you know what it's got? It's got uh, two arrows going up for two settings and then one going down. Wow. So we'll just go through Fancy. the see. So we're going to put it on the in the middle setting. Or we'll put it on the one on the left first. Right. So let's see what we've got. <laughs> Switch from the on yeah. position to the off off position. Okay, we'll see if we got much. Yeah. Let's go from the EQ shape. That's the the switch is all the way to the left. I'm gonna go to the middle position now. Okay. Definitely a little bit more. Oh, is it warmer? A little warmer. Yeah. Also have it on my neck pickup. Let's try it on the back pickup. Yeah. There we go. That cuts a little bit more. The mid mid boost. Which looks like it's. I'm assuming the treble took a high cut. Okay. So let's see. All right. Let's see if we got any difference on that. Yeah, 
I love that's actually that setting is pretty that's nice. That's your right favorite now. of the of the yeah. three. So right now we've got the presence off and we've got the EQ shape all the way in the right position. So that's the Paisley drive. That's not a great. So far, I mean we're I, I, I like both of these. Um, do they sound the same here? Do they sound different? They do sound a little bit different. Um, and most of these have the, uh, the kind of a similar layout. They're gonna have a volume tone and drive, mm -hmm. which are the main three. And that's what you find on your classic uh, tube screamer, the three. Now, all of these pedals, not all of them, but most of them have other variations on the way you can kind of sculpt your tone in addition to the three main volume tone and drive knobs. So, cool. Speaking of that, uh, East River Drive, they kept it pure. Oh, okay. Electric harmonics. It's got volume, tone, and, and, and drive, and that's it. Uh, put, I'm gonna put volumes where it's at, and then we're gonna, yeah, turn that off, and we'll do the, so we've got the volume at about 11 o'clock, the tone is at, at uh, 12, and the mm -hmm. drive's at 12. traditional tube screamer yeah and basically um, as I said sometimes the ones with the least amount of knobs are the easiest right. because it's less for you to mess up absolutely <laughs> absolutely so that's the East River Drive by Electro Harmonics um, now we're gonna jump into the world the fascinating world of JHS yeah are they, are they in Missouri uh, they are in Kansas, Kansas City. City that's right okay yeah. they're in Kansas City yeah Josh Scott's uh, company yeah these guys have really come on uh, come online recently yeah and are making some really great stuff so this is um, a volume tone and drive it's got a plus and negative switch on it but the interesting right. thing about this pedal that's unlike all of the other pedals is that it's got a clean blend knob oh okay so which also the wampler another version we could have went with the wampler hot wired b2 which is the brent mason signature model based okay. off of a uh, tube screamer as well with a clean blend which is the only other pedal i knew that it had done that Nope. But you can, the cool thing is, especially for like the country stuff, kind of bluesy stuff, I think you can blend in your clean center to kind of that, I don't know, it reminds me of like a blues, like a, like a, a blues driver type thing. Yeah, like okay. Um, so, yeah, but right now we're going to put it in the middle because I think that would be a complete, uh, I think that'd be the, the middle uh, setting on that. Um, so, let's see what we got here. All right. <laughs> Let's try it in the negative. Okay. Right now. Same same thing. Yeah, it sounds like it's it's a little bit of a damper, damper. on the high end. It cuts it cuts off a little bit of the high end. So that's yeah, still that the back sense. pickup. So yeah, but it sounds somewhat similar. <laughs> So far as that, uh, you know, they're very articulate. You know, the, I mean, it's, it might be a tube screamer thing, but it's. Um... I, I think one of the main things that um, when I moved over, we were talking about earlier about how when we were growing up, 
I, I didn't. I also personally didn't understand the, the difference between distortion and an overdrive. Or um, fuzz, and, even. Or, yeah, well, that's a whole other category. But to me, a really good overdrive uh, has to have some touch sensitivity. And what I mean like by that is when you hit it with your pick, is it still on? It should change. Uh, there's a lot of pedals that I used when I was a kid. Um, it didn't matter how hard you picked or how light you yeah, picked. It was all the same. The, it sounded like a brick wall. I mean, uh, basically, it was the same sound no matter how you played uh, your guitar, or dynamically speaking. But with a pick, you can. Uh, the idea is is that when you're picking, you should have the full dynamic range that you have when you're even if you're playing, um, you know, just as much as if you're playing on a clean amp. It should get quieter. It should get louder. And it should also, the harder you pick the more it starts to saturate. The lighter you pick, it, it should it start clips, clean up. It clips more. The harder yeah. You, yeah, and also you should be able to ride your volume out. So if you turn that up, mm -hmm. so if I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off my volume right now. And you can hear as I bring my volume up, the gain really comes up. Um, I find that with most overdrive pedals that if you have the ability to roll your actual guitar volume down, you end up actually having quite a few different tones. You would one more time? Yep. So here's my, my volume on like two. I roll it up a little bit more. And then roll it up even a little bit more after that. Try one thing though. I want to try it because this has this clean knob on it. I want to try and go from from clean, okay, or from dirty all the way and blend that clean in so they can hear it bring in the natural sound of the amp. Shiner, you've got the three knobs that are traditional mm -hmm. with the tube screamer, the plus or negative, a plus or minus uh, switch, and then just a clean blend. So that's really cool, pretty versatile. Yeah, the clean bed can come in handy depending on what style of music you're playing. Um, there was a pedal years ago that was uh, the, made by Voodoo Labs, I believe. It's called the Sparkle Drive, yeah. and it had a clean blend. And I remember a lot of guitar players were really thought that was a pretty cool option. I I never actually owned a Sparkle Drive, but I, um, a lot of a lot of people I know that played on it. The day's not they over. Liked they liked uh, <laughs> they liked some of the options that the Sparkle Drive gave them because of that clean blend. That's they might, that pedal might still be, a, be available. To I think it is, yeah, I, 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 as far as I that. know. But um, yeah, a lot of people wanted to have some of that clarity, yeah. but they also wanted to have some bite and distortion to it. Sure. So last but not least, we've got the uh, we've got the Bonsai. It's the it's the tube screen all tube screamer all tube in one box. box. So we're gonna start with the with the traditional 808, which is the closest thing we have to an authentic tube screamer mm -hmm. because we don't have an actual tube screamer here with us right now. But uh, this is it right here. Super 
pretty super warm. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty mellow. It doesn't yeah, sound like you're killing him. Because you've got it in the bridge position right now. Yeah. But I would maybe have even thought that was a neck position for a second. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I like to use uh, my uh, tube screamer, that, as I said, it was mod modified by Analog Man. I like to use it when I'm not trying to get a real super heavy crunch, just mm -hmm. just a little bit of dirt, warm just a little bit of warmth. Now we've got the everything on this, uh, other than the, than the selector for which for which tube screamer it is, is is at is at twelve o'clock. Okay. So volume, tone, drive. So you've got room to go with the tone if you wanted to make it even more, you know, uh, top endy on that. Uh, that is the eight oh eight, and there's like ten different you know options on there. But that's the yeah. eight oh eight. So the other one I wanted to try is I wanted to try. Um, let's see. JHS's modded version of that right here. Okay. Change the volume on no, it? No, not at, not at all. Wow. Yeah. So that automatically seems like it has more output. It does, yeah. It's totter, definitely. <laughs> anything it's all it's all uh at, at 12 o'clock still yeah so if you uh if you want something to light a little bit of fire in your tone that <laughs> so definitely gives a little bit more well, i'm curious now because the third one i wanted to try and our final one is the is the keely which is really cool it shows you how close these guys are they've actually got the keely logo on the jhs pedal ah. to show you the keely modded version of this so that was the uh, we did the 808 and then we did the jhs modded version of the tube screamer and then now we're on the keely one right now all right Some surprise Corona show that nobody knows about. Uh, yeah. What, what would it be? Um, I, I, I liked uh, the Green Rhino. Really? Okay. To start off with. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Um, Even though that's got the most knobs of any of them. It does. Uh, I tried not to look at yeah. the knobs. Yeah. I just tried to just use my ears. Um, and uh, I liked a couple of the different ones on the JHS. It's, it sounds like there's quite a variety on that because we, we just went through. Side. I think we did three. Yeah, we did three. And there's... Uh, so you've got the the OD1, yeah. the 808, the TS9, yeah. you've got an MSL, Okay. I'm not even sure what that is, MS. Uh, TS10, the XR, Okay. the TS7, the Keeley Modified, and then the JHS Modified, all in one. Yeah, so we basically, uh, you didn't adjust any of the tone, mm. you didn't adjust the drive or the volume uh, knob during that. That was literally the, la the last three sounds we did were just moving from one preset to another. Right. And it was pretty dramatic. So if you're looking for a box that has a lot of sounds in it, that one seems to give you a lot of options. I've uh, you know read about that before, wasn't quite sure exactly how, how it would stack up, but pretty impressive. Yeah. So you think in for your two favorites, Green Rhino and Bonsai, probably out of Yeah, and I think with the green with the Bonsai with all the possibilities on that as far as the switching. You're, one of those overdrives is going to fit your EQ parameter, probably. So there you go. So, and, I, and you think the one that was, you, you would know more about this than me, but it seemed like the East River Drive by Electro Harmonics was the most kind of just like a standard. Correct. Standard kind of, well, there's less knobs. And I think that's why I'm probably going back to that, too. Yeah, I mean, again, the more you have chances to sculpt your tone, you also have more chances to s not do great things right. on your tone. Yeah, so absolutely. that's why some of the best amps and the best gear out there, uh, pedal wise, uh, if you look on my Klon, on my Klon Centaur, just three DOMs, just a, a output, gain, and then there's one that says treble. Nothing, nothing else. That's all you got. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. We're going to do more of these videos. To, to, you know, Like I said, coronavirus has happened in 2020. Yeah. And um, this is Christian Robles with the Billy Rock Band. And we are going to, I'll put links to our website for you to purchase any of these pedals that you like. 
And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us, man. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure, man. Take care, everybody.